said that seem to me to help to stoke that anger. For example, you said sure. Israelis like to build, Arabs like to bomb crap and live in open sewage. Well, as I say in an article entitled, here's a list of all the giant bad dumb things I've ever said. Was that, that was list that dumb? What Yes, that's a dumb tweet. And not only, a, but it is also important to mention that the next few tweets clarify that that tweet is specifically referring to the Hamas leadership, which, no. by the way, a BBC I've, I've seen is relatively reticent to condemn. No, actually, it wasn't what you went on to do and say, uh, you are correct about the slur and our Arabs. It's not all Arabs that want to live in open sewage and blow things up. It's just Palestinians, you went on to say. No, it's, a, no, it's, and, a, no, and then it's you the said, ones who take sides and against then Israel the in the Israel-Palestinian Arab conflict. The population is rotten to the core, you went on to say. Not Hamas, I say by, the yeah, Palestinian I say by poll, Arab population. I say that by poll numbers, they elected Hamas. They elected Hamas. They educate their children in school that Israel should be obliterated, sir. I guess... If you want to read... Con you know, honestly, uh, th this is a giant waste of time in the sense that the entire interview is designed for you to shout slogans or old things that I've said at me. I don't see how this forwards the debate. You talk about, you talk about undermining the public discourse. It seems to me that simply going through and finding lone things that sound bad out of context and then hitting them with... and then hitting people with them is a way for you to make a quick buck on BBC off the fact that I'm popular and no one has ever heard of you. Uh, there are not many bucks to be made on the BBC, unlike American broadcasting, Mr. Shapiro. Uh, I get, the point You're I'm trying paid, to make seems. is that your words are hardly designed to produce the consensus and understanding that the book seems to want to produce. Uh, that's my point, that you write about, you know, Judeo-Christian culture and so on, but so much of what you've said in the past would seem to turn its back on Judeo-Christian culture. You're lecturing me on Judeo-Christian culture after you call the pro-life position barbaric? I, I just really? asked you a question. And I asked you a question. You failed to answer a single one of oh. mine. Well, Frankly, I find this whole thing a waste of time. If you want to read the book and critique the book, why don't you read and critique the book? If you want to, re if you want to critique me, you can think whatever you want of me. Why don't you Frankly, just try and I don't answer care. the I don't, I don't frankly give a damn what you you're, think of me since I've new, never heard of you. You and I've never heard of you until I briefed myself for this. But that's not the issue. You have a then new book Then why the hell are you interviewing it's me, an sir? In, it's an interesting book. But my point is, your book claims that society... Well, it would be society, nice if you had quoted from time to time. Your book is... Well, actually, I've done so several times, and I'm about to do so again, if you would let me just finish the question. Your book no, frankly, claims I don't think that society you know what? Honestly, is turning honestly, its back sir? on Judeo-Christian values. Yeah, this is, what are those values what, considering that it's, what, what are the values it's turning its back on? I... I you know, I, I'm not inclined to continue an interview with a person as badly motivated as you as an interviewer. So I think we're done here. I appreciate your time. All sir. right. Thank you well, so much. thank you for your time and uh, for showing that anger is not part of American political discourse. Now, Mr. Shapiro, we'll say goodbye. Apologies that we haven't got much time left. But, Paul, watching that, has something happened to the level of political debate?